What's up, Facebook Live? It's Solace Kingdom there, King of Fourth here, guys. But guys, here's what I want to talk about. <clears throat> I want to talk about that everything that you desire, everything that you want is already given to you. Everything that you desire is already given to you. God is already giving you the victory. But you got to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to you. I think my Facebook updated. It looks a little different. But guys, you got to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things will be added unto you. Everything will be given unto you, guys. The health, the wealth, the vision, the purpose, the destiny. Everything, guys. When I became... When I got in Christ, see, I'm making these videos because I want to show you how to keep being persistent. I want to show you. I want to show you. I don't want to tell you. I want to show you how to seek his kingdom first by doing it every day. This is why I make these videos because I want to inspire you to do the same. I want to inspire you to read his word, to, to read his prayers, his prayers in his book. But guys, I love you. And I just want you to know that when you seek the kingdom of God above all else you and live righteously, that's the key too. don't forget the living righteously part, because he said, no good thing will I withhold in Psalms 8411. No good thing will I hold withhold from those who do what is right. And I want you to know I'm going to take this off. I want you to know that God wants to bless you. God wants to prosper you. He wants to heal you. But you have to do what is right. You have to seek his kingdom first and you have to live righteously. Living righteously, walking in the fruits of the spirit, treating people right, asking for forgiveness, you know, forgiving those who have hurt you. I was listening to Bill Winston's son today, Dr. Bill Winston. He's a pastor and his son, David Winston. And what he was saying is that pray when God told him to pray for his enemies. He thought it was just like, OK, I pray for my enemies. I bless my enemies. But no, what God means is when he say bless those that persecute you, he talking about like really pray for him, pray for your enemies. I challenge you. Pray for your enemies just like you would pray for your mother. That's when you know you become, then you can see what it feels like to love your enemies, the compassion of Jesus Christ, how he loves everybody. Jesus loves all of us. He loves those. Remember when you were in the world, when you wasn't serving God, when I wasn't serving God, he loved me. He saved me in a car accident. I wasn't serving him all the way, but he loved me first. And now I can love you. I can love other people as myself. But that's what he means. That's compassion. Have compassion on other people. That's living righteously. Doing what he told you to do. Doing, seeking the kingdom above all else. Going to church. Serving in the ministry. Helping the homeless. Helping those in need. Doing for others. Helping other people. How are you going to help other people if you can't even help yourself? You got to help yourself first. By getting in his word, by getting, by receiving his salvation. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Ryan? But guys, I love you and I want you to take on this principle. I'm making these videos and I got more to make and I'm going to keep doing them and I'm going to keep doing what God told me to do and I pray that you do too. God bless. Take care. What's up, mama?